we are in beautiful Barcelona and I am so excited today because guess what we're going to do? We are going biking. We are going to bike this entire city. I'm so excited in one day. Well, I know cities like Barcelona deserve a lot more than one day. I have spent a few amazing days here already, but today is my vlogging day and I thought the best way to show you around would be by bike. Because if you give me a bike in a beautiful city, I'm the happiest girl in the whole world. So let's go. Would you look at all of these palms? How stunning. This is so gorgeous and you guys know because I love palm trees, I'm in absolute heaven right now. architecture in Barcelona is completely out of this world. I'm about to show you guys Sagrada Familia which is Gaudi's most famous work here in Barcelona and it will just blow your mind. I know that the footage is not going to do it justice as it normally does so when you come to Barcelona I want to make sure that you actually dedicate a morning or an afternoon to admire this absolute masterpiece. I just you're looking at it and you just can't even can't even fathom how it's all been put together and and the project is almost complete I believe it has 10 more years to go but let's go check it out and I promise you you will be amazed <laughs> also by the way guys I'm not sure if I mentioned but today we are also using our good good friend good friends in, in lots of different places the old school map let me show you let me show it's in good condition today it's in good condition a lot better than it was after we finished our day in Lisbon wasn't it <laughs> It is truly incredible, something you have to see with your own eyes because I know when I was filming it I really wanted to be able to show you the very tips of it are very colorful and I don't think that it's really doing it any justice at all so it's definitely a must see here in Barcelona absolutely gorgeous day out as well and I'm in palm tree heaven you know like I think that Barcelona is probably the most palm tree friendly city I've, I've been to yet so palm trees all along like the bike lanes like I showed you and just everywhere it's it's my heaven you know I think Barcelona is definitely one of those cities that I'm going to frequent throughout my life excited about it beautiful plaza de catalania i feel like i want to call them all piazzas but it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I definitely say you need to stop here and bring obviously your camera, maybe some food for the pigeons, and maybe a little bite to eat yourself. Now, I know what you guys really want to see. It's what I want to see too. Let's go to the beach or la playa. We made it to the beach guys, we made it to La Playa. I've just tucked myself into a little side street just so I can talk to you because it's quite busy as you can see. It is a Saturday, so I was actually biking around there yesterday with a new friend I made from the hostel who inspired me to actually do another biking around Barcelona video because I, I really think there's no better way to explore a new city than by bike. So thanks for coming along with me today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing Barcelona or or Barcelona from a bike anyways for the most part. There are so many amazing monuments and 
places that I know I miss today, but Barcelona is one of those cities that I just I just know I'll be back again. I know that it's just a city that I'm going to frequent because it has amazing people, amazing food. It is palm tree friendly and just I don't know, just good vibes all around. Tonight, I'm actually going to meet my new friend, Qatar. I met her in Mar Marrakesh, and we are going to have dinner together, and then I'm off to the airport this evening to my next country. You guys will know by the time this video is up, though. Everywhere I go, you guys, my boyfriends. They follow me. So, I'm at the airport right now. It is 4 a.m. in Barcelona. So, I ended up having the most amazing night last night with my new friend, Qatar. And she introduced me to some of her friends. And honestly, I'm just feeling so, just so incredibly blessed because throughout this whole trip, I have met the most incredible people and of course in those moments when you know we're we're having dinner and we're in uh, amazing places and having amazing conversations and I want to be able to share that with you so much through the camera but I, I want to live in the now so much that it, it would change things if I brought out the camera you know so I just I wish that I could take you along though I wish that uh, you know you could ex experience these experiences and and see them the way that I see them but I think that's actually, I think that's why I'm, I'm grateful to be able to be writing my books now because I feel like that can give you um, different levels, different levels to me and different levels to my life. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, oh, we have light now, we have light. It means it's, um, it's daytime in the airport now. <laughs> I was actually, I was going to sleep at the airport. This is a, a kind of a, a common thing. Have any of you guys ever done that? Uh, a few of my friends told me that they have. So I hope the lighting's not not too off. But I ended up sleeping uh, at Qatar, so I actually had three hours sleep, which is more than I was planning on getting. So I'm very grateful for that. I feel like everything happens for a reason, and I'm getting I'm gonna get all sentimental, and I'm gonna get all heart to heartsy with you right now. But I've just I just feel like every every place that I've gone on this trip, I've just been meeting the most incredible people and. I think it's because when you're on your own, obviously you're more open to making friendships with people. You're a little bit more outgoing than maybe you normally were, but I just feel like I've just been truly, truly blessed and I'm so grateful. I have met the most amazing people and, and so many amazing people and this trip is coming to an end um, a little bit right now. I'm, I'm on my way back to Italy and I'm so, so incredibly happy to go back to Italy because I feel like I'm going back home. That's how it feels anyway. I'm going going back to where my heart is and I feel like I've definitely left my heart in little places along the way here and and every city that I visited I feel like I'll be back I will most certainly be back I'm grateful that you are liking the travel diaries and and being able to take you along and I feel like they kind of get a little bit more difficult and more difficult to make because I've, I, I'm living so much in it now that it's like difficult to bring out my camera but then I'm like, oh, you know, I wish I could share that with them or that conversation was just so meaningful and, and I think it could really um, help you all but then again, I think that those experiences for me will help me be able to communicate better with you and, and I don't know, I think like we're all, we're all on this journey together, right? And I'm excited to see where it goes and uh, I just, I'm just like a little bit of a wave of emotions. Like I said, um, I'm just so grateful for everything and I think I owe you a little bit of an update too. I feel like I miss sitting in front of the camera and talking to you. So my apologies for being rambly, but I, I have to update you on a few things. So one is that um, I didn't vlog in Ibiza because it was Ibiza. Wait, I really Mi nueva amiga from Colombia. Oh. Ibiza! Oh. And you know there, there was little sleep, there was lots of lots of fun, lots of beach. That whole trip was just one big spontaneous 
everything about that trip was spontaneous and, and incredible and so fun. So the, I didn't uh, bring out the camera because we were just one place to another, and just living life right in the moment. This whole trip's been a little bit like that. And I think that that's when the truly, uh, the most amazing things happen is when you are spontaneous and you just say yes to life. You just say yes to the things that it brings you and the experiences and the people. And it's all, it's all very meaningful to me. It just, and yeah, another little update for you. Uh, like I said, I'm going back to Italy, and and even though I said like I left my heart along the way here, I, this trip has made me realize how much that I truly, truly want to be in in Italy, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen because I just I trust now, you know. Like I just feel like there's no other place in this world. Like I don't know, my heart is so much here in Europe. And I, I know you guys know that, but just like the feeling that, that Italy and Roma is something so special. I'm gonna get all, gonna get emotional. <laughs> I'm on, I'm, I'm going to Florence and I'm like, I'm going to Florence. Like, I'm going, I'm going back to just another amazing city and uh, this trip, this trip. I'm trying to think of um, what else I want to tell you. I wanted to do like a little catch up with you and I didn't really know what was going. Oh, I want to tell you. Like I have met the most incredible, com incredible friends on this trip and many people who are kind of doing the same thing or have talked about taking this risk from, from being unhappy or being in the desk to just living your life. And I can tell you, like me a year ago, this was, I know that I've told you this so many times, but it was a dream and, and I didn't think that, that any of it, um, I didn't think it was possible, you know? I didn't think that, I don't know, I, like I had these dreams, I just wished that life was so much different because I didn't want to be at the desk and and that's not where I, I was meant to be and now life is just, every day is an adventure and, and every day is filled with so much more happiness and, and so many uh, amazing people and experiences and you know, knock on wood, but like there's no bad days anymore. It was like there, when I was in Toronto, I always think about this, it was like, when I was sitting there at my desk and I was faced with so much um, unhappiness and difficulties and challenges with my intuition, telling me, you know, don't, this isn't your life. I remember sitting there and being like, anywhere but here. I would just want to be anywhere, but sitting in this desk, being faced with these these mental challenges, just this feeling that I just didn't, I wasn't supposed to be there. And you know, I've spoken to you enough times for you to know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I, I would sit there and I, I'd say, anywhere but here, anywhere but here, I just wanna be anywhere but here. And then now, like in Europe and, and in, in Italy and just living, living my dream life, it's, I don't wanna be anywhere but here. And never never been like that and although I know like I know I'm alone like I'm, I'm single and and of course sometimes it gets lonely and I get a lot of questions for you guys about that but it's a gift it's a gift to be able to have these experiences with with a, a, um, a vision that is is only mine for right now and I know that when the time comes I'm going to meet that amazing person and somebody's watching me I'm on the stage guys okay so I guess at the end of this year I will have attended three of my good friends weddings and a lot of or I guess the majority of my best friends now are engaged and they've they've definitely found the one you know and I can tell and I'm so happy and so for example Jen my friend Lauren whose wedding that I'm going to be emceeing at and I was so incredibly happy for them because they make me believe that one day I will have that and and it all comes down to timing and you can't put a timeline in your life you just have to go with it you just have to go with it and obviously I wish I would have you know left the desk sooner but I wouldn't be the person that I am now if I didn't have to face those struggles and be able to talk to you guys about it and I know there's many limiting beliefs and many fears that come in the way like I don't know if I can do it if I can do it by myself you know I don't know if I can leave my job I don't know you know, I have these conversations with people all the time, and, and for me, it, it was impossible. I told you about this in my book, like, it was impossible. There was l little support, there was little money, <laughs> and somehow, 
because I took this leap of faith, I was blessed with many opportunities. So I'm gonna stop being all um, emotional on you guys and I'm just going to probably uh, sit down and try to do some work. Yeah, gotta do some work. And that's another thing too. Sorry, I have one more thing to tell you. A lot of you are asking me about, you know, how do you, how can you do this? Like blah, blah, blah. It's not all, um, it's not all travel diaries. It's, it's a lot of it is I've been working every day and sometimes that means getting up at 5 a.m. and putting in you know, three, four hours before I can go bike around the city or actually uh, the first three days I was in Barcelona, I spent three days in a coffee shop. So I didn't get to see any sights in the first three days and, and I felt a little bit of guilt for being in the city, not being able to do those things, but I had some solid work to do. And that's just, this is what it comes down to is this, this balance, this digital nomad kind of balance. But a little bit more about that in future videos. I think I want to talk a lot more about being a digital nomad because if you're like me, and you feel the discomfort and you feel like there's many other places in the world that you should be instead of at your desk then just know it's possible and i love you to the moon back and we're going to italy we're going to italia and we're going to go back to roma la città eterna and after that we're going to north america which is going to be going to be different going to be different after this so i love you and i'll see you in the next video